baby, season five of Warzone is finally here. The last season of Warzone. It's been a long time coming here, but I know everybody wants to start off season five with a banger so i'm gonna help you guys out and give you guys the best settings you guys should be running for season five of warzone all right to start off for graphics we're going to start on display for the display mode you want to have this on full screen most people want to have this on full screen if you can i'm a streamer so i have to have it on full screen borderless and plus i'm on a one pc setup so when i tab out and stuff it can cause a few issues for me but everybody should be running full screen if you can there is a little bit a slight latency if you do full screen borderless compared to full screen or any of the other ones compared to full screen so to have the smoothest you know graphics and um smoothest frames you want to have it on full screen uh let's see going on down uh make sure your screen refresh rate is set to the max for your monitor i know some people don't uh change their stuff i guess you know you may be new to computer or pc gaming and don't know these things so make sure your monitor is actually on the right refresh rate and you change your settings in your computer so that your uh, screen refresh rate is showing up to the max on warzone um render resolution we got that on 100 i'm just gonna scroll on down um and you guys can take a screenshot or do whatever you gotta do uh pause the video make sure you guys get these settings here locked in uh, let's see for v-sync definitely have that disabled i know some people play a bunch of different games and you might need v-sync but v-sync um should be disabled while you're playing warzone um and hit nvidia highlights i have that disabled the nvidia low uh, reflex low latency you should have that on enabled if you are on a laptop you want to have it on enable plus boost uh, my brightness is set to 55 and uh, I think that just about covers it for the display. Moving on to quality, we got the field of view. I have it on 120. Uh, most people run a range from about 110 to 120. 120 is max and it's, you know, the sweet spot for me. You know, just play around with it. Whichever one feels um, the best to you in that range is uh, highly recommended. Make sure that you have your ADS field of view on Affected too. I know some people might like Independent, but Affected is definitely the way to go. Don't be running Independent if it's not right for you, okay? <laughs> uh, moving on on, we got camera movement. That is set to 50%. Like I said, go ahead and take a screenshot or pause the video so you guys can get these locked in here. Most of these are on um, low or disabled or off. Um, the most important ones would be having streaming quality on low texture resolution low um and you could do very low but uh, very low just looks a little bit too bad for me so i have it on low and uh these two you can really these two aren't as uh, effective in the game i would say like frame rate frame rate wise so you definitely could you know tinker with these do whatever you want to with them you could run them both on high you run them all on or both on low it's up to you but me personally for right now i have it on low um for the anatropic and for particle quality i have it on high uh bullet impacts and sprays have that on disabled tessellation um we have that on all make sure you have on demand texture stream and disabled um let's see right here dlss definitely have that disabled you have uh no reason to really be running that if you want the best frames in here so definitely turn dlss off um anti-aliasing you want this on off or the one times um you could do the two or the t2x but me i'm gonna run one x uh this will give you the t2x will give you a little bit you know better quality if you are streaming or you just feel like the other ones are too fuzzy but um i definitely wouldn't run film it because that one uh is a little bit too much is it and it's definitely going to affect your frames um it gives me a little bit of blur blurriness i'm not sure if i'm the only one that feels that with film it but not for me so we're running the one times um let's see let's see motion blur definitely have that off if you have a motion blur i don't know what you are doing turn that off do not run motion blur it is a no-go moving on on uh you might you want to have the cache spot and sun shadow you want to have both of those enabled because it helps you know speed up rendering you don't have to do the render or your computer doesn't have to do 
the rendering over and over you know every time you play the map so it's, it's already stored in there so definitely have both of these enabled um but everything else should be low or disabled and that wraps up graphics okay and in interface there's not too much to go over in here but there is a few things um you want your hud to be on 100 so everything is close to the middle of the screen so like your ammo count and stuff like that or your map is closer to the center of your screen so those slight little milliseconds you don't have to look away to the edge of the screen just you know closer because you know we're playing an fps game so we want everything to be quick and as fast as possible so definitely have it on 100 for that uh, make sure your mini map is on square if you have it on circle then obviously you can see the edges of the map are cut off and that's less space for you to be able to see a ping from an uh, enemy we ain't got a uav or something uh moving on down here the kill feed duration i have on 20 seconds so uh, it's especially important for when you are running against a, a squad or you're trying to you know team wipe when you have it on 20 seconds it stays up there a little bit longer than usual so you can see each and every kill come in because you might be you know playing quads and there's a whole team and you might have killed three people and you think you killed the whole team but nope there's one more left and he's waiting on you around that corner so definitely have it on 20 seconds or um i would go as low as 10 but 20 seconds is a sweet spot for me um rolling on down here um, most of these i don't have on if you have you know temperature issues you definitely want to have the temperature enabled but for me i just have the fps counter the server latency and packet loss those are the three most important things you want to have up at all times so you know that your system is running smoothly and you're not having you know drop frames you know you're not um losing connection or losing packets doing anything so definitely have these three enabled at all times but uh for the last or the end of it i have skipped the introduction movie and just so i can load the game up you know fast i don't really like waiting on that little clip to you know go through i ain't got no time for that so definitely have that um enabled but that i think does it for interface all right here we go with audio right now i'm running boost high for my audio mix most people run um boost high or boost low i know a few people might run boost or home theater i've even seen it's up to you but for me and what i'm going to suggest to you guys is boost high that just sound the sound of it just sounds crisp and everything is clear so definitely run boost high and uh go on go on join your boy in uh running that let's see here master value you really don't need it on 100 i'm gonna keep that on 90 uh let's see rolling on down here um voice chat um i find when i'm in you know gunfights and a lot's going on i don't want to really hear people yelling in my ear and uh, calling out so much all the time so definitely have that a little lower um you can run around 100 i don't know why specifically i have it on 111.35 right now but 100 to about 115 is about the sweet spot for me you know it balances out the voice chat and the game sound but that does it for audio all right on to the settings that i know most people came to this video for the controller settings i'm not a keyboard and mouse player so i do not have keyboard and mouse settings for you but if you're on controller i got you okay all right so for the dead zone you make sure you want to have this on the lowest you can have it without having any thumbstick drift if you're feel your controller making you move or you know turn and you're not really touching the stick then you have thumbstick drift so um if you're up in that point 20 range for either one of your sticks then you definitely probably want to look into getting a new controller because that probably means your thumbstick drift is really bad so uh go ahead and chalk that controller and uh go and replace it um i run an xbox elite series 2 controller i highly recommend it because if it messes up you can always get a best buy you know replacement or you can go to gamestop or walmart plenty of places you get an elite controller you can just switch it out real quick but i know a lot of people run scuffs battle beavers it's up to you but me i run an xbox elite controller for anybody that wonders um make sure you have the other dead zone all the way to the max but for the golden area the sensitivity i am running 
80 right now um i've been running at most of season four and i'm gonna head into season five running the same sensitivity these just feel like the best settings for me right now my shots are crisp i'm not missing too many unnecessary shots you know when i'm using my sniper i'm not you know lagging behind or trying to catch up to somebody that's run or in a full sprint so this is definitely a good sensitivity that I recommend everybody use. Um, you could do 7.7 if it feels a little bit too fast. And uh, if the ADS sensitivity multiplier feels a little bit too fast, you could go down to 0.70. I wouldn't go anywhere below that. But um, 0.70 to 0.80 is definitely the sweet area for me. Um, moving on down here, you can use the custom sensitivity, but I just don't. Um, it kind of throws me off a little bit when I'm, you know, switching from different uh, zoom. So definitely I stay away from that. I tried it, but it's not really my thing. I'm scrolling on down here. You want to have your aim response curve type on dynamic. That is the best. That is what you need. Don't run nothing else. Run dynamic. That is going to be your best friend um controller vibration definitely have that disabled so you know you, the vibrations of your controller isn't throwing off your aim or anything aim assist we have that on standard um scale aim assist we got that um on disabled right now for the mount uh i mean i guess you could run a few different things for this but the way my controller is set up ads and melee is the best for me um going on down here you want to use contextual tap so you can get you know your pickup stuff off the ground pretty quickly you don't need a hole you don't need to do um too much extra stuff that is unnecessary you know this game is we playing an fps game here we need to be able to get stuff done quick so contextual tap op open up doors reload you know all that stuff get it done quick all right <laughs> but um yeah definitely have on contextual tap you want to have um the depleted ammo switch you want that enabled because you definitely don't want to have a gun still in your hand and you ain't got no ammo the armor plate behavior you want to have that on apply all so you can still be in a full sprint and even if you let go of the plate button then you will still be putting on plates as you're spinning so definitely have that on apply all so it doesn't stop um and if you need to stop you can just push yy or triangle triangle and i know some people even uh use the left bumper to cancel their um plate so definitely have it on apply all slide behavior we have that on tap uh tactical sprint i have that on single tap from sprint i know some people might have it on single tap from run but that's just not for me so uh we're gonna go with single tap from sprint we have auto attack sprint on and the last two um are i guess sort of important the parachute auto deploy have that on this able so you can control when it um deploys the parachute and you get to the ground as close as you can without breaking it because i know i done did that my fair share of times but definitely want to have it on disabled so you can you know get that ground loot quicker whatever you need to do all right now as an added bonus i'm going to give you guys the nvidia control pedal settings to give you guys the max fps i don't have an amd graphics card so i can't give you guys the settings for that so sorry i wish i could but if you do have an nvidia graphics card i'm going to give you guys these settings so uh we can get this fps boosted up here all right so adjust image settings we have the use the advanced 3d image settings check Moving on to manage 3D settings. Um, you guys can take a screenshot or pause the video. Uh, I'm not really gonna go too much in depth with these settings right here because it's a lot to go into. But these are definitely the best global settings that are gonna give you guys the max FPS and you're definitely gonna see the difference when you play the game. So definitely take a screenshot, like I said, or pause the video to get these locked in. Moving on, on to the adjust desktop color settings um these are the best color settings that are gonna have you guys you know seeing things clear having things vibrant and you won't be you know having stuff too dark and too light and everything just gonna be all smooth and clear all right so for the brightness we got it on 55 contrast we got it on 55 and digital brightness i have that on 78 right now um around 75 you could go all the way up to 100 if you prefer but 78 looks like the sweet spot for me so that's what i'm going to be running another key area for the nvidia control panel is making sure you guys 
got the adjust desktop size and position right um, this is another place where you want to make sure you got your refresh rate right um, because in different places on your PC it might not be set to the right thing you might got to set it on Windows you might got to set it on Nvidia and you might got to set it on Warzone so make sure your um, refresh rate is set to the right spot on every single one of them and that's going to wrap it up for this video make sure you guys get these settings locked in here and get that fps boosted up on warzone and let me know in the comments if i helped you out today um i really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me on my video stream shorts everything you guys are amazing i love you guys so so much you guys are the best i got the best community of any content creator out there and you guys can't tell me any different so i really thank you guys so much make sure you guys hit that sub button the like button and turn on notifications so you know when i stream post youtube video shorts all that good stuff make sure you guys come and check out the stream too we stream around midnight eastern standard time on twitch facebook and youtube so like i said i really thank you guys so much but uh that's gonna be it for me today guys so uh gg